Hello, I'm Landon Norris, and welcome to The Art of Data. In this episode, we're going behind the scenes with the McLaren eSports team, McLaren Shadow. Earlier on, I caught up with George Simmons, our head race engineer, to find out how data impacts eSports and how Splunk helps the team go faster with data-driven insights. So George, here in the Shadow Studio, please tell me a little bit more of what your job entails. So I'm the head engineer for McLaren Shadow eSports team, pretty much responsible for all of the race strategy yep. and all of the driver performance and uh, setup preparation for the events. We've got the two drivers, then we've got a engineer for each of the two drivers, basically got a really good working relationship. They can analyze when someone's not doing perhaps what they should be or they need to make adjustments on brake bias, that yep. kind of thing. I'll be looking at the Splunk dashboards, getting that holistic view of the whole race, and then that allows me to make those overriding strategy decisions because the engineers will be focused on you know, the stuff that's happening much closer to the drivers. What do you love about being an eSports engineer? For me in uh, eSports, it's a uh, yeah, really small team and you really can make the difference. So, yeah. and Data in Formula 1 is extremely critical. It's basically how everything runs, from actually making the car go out and drive to the strategy in races. For us, it's one of the most important things um, to make improvements between sessions, uh, even live during sessions. Is it pretty much the same with, with eSports? I think we're definitely catching up to real life Formula One and the eSports side. And there's lots of software programs that we're using to try and replicate the same stuff that you guys are doing in real F1. We've been using Splunk to look at the uh, comparisons between the two drivers' data, analyzing the way that they're using the brake and the throttle pedal and yeah. uh, you know not applying too much steering in the corners, that kind of stuff. And then we're building up. So now with the Splunk dashboards, we're starting to replicate some of the tools that you use. So useful for me as a strategist to be able to have that full picture of the race as it's going on. So focusing in on the race that we had, it was all about making sure that we picked the right time to go onto the dry tires. It was about making the right decision about which car we wanted to pit first to make sure that we didn't lose track position. Uh, we can zoom in a little bit more on that. We ended up pinning Lucas first, so he came in at the end of lap 14. Barry went one lap longer. He stayed out at the front of the field, lost a couple of positions, but then managed to gain a couple of positions later on in the race as the medium tires died off. So in the world of F1, we look at a lot of data. I've also grown up looking at data and looking at my driving since I was 12, 13 years old already. Is it the same for, for the guys here? Do they know exactly how to look at it? Or is it more that you have to explain the, the way through? Yeah, I think there's definitely a little bit of a learning curve for the guys. One thing that's really nice about the Splunk dashboards that we've got is that we're able to make that really easy to use. Um, so they can just jump in and it's very clear exactly yep. what's going on. So with the Splunk dashboard, what are the main things that you look at to help yourself? Uh, but also to help the drivers. We're comparing the drivers one to one. So yeah, looking at the different driving styles with the throttle, brake and steering. And then during the race, we're using the live dashboards to give us the full picture of everything that's going on. What kind of information do you get fed during the race from Will? It's pretty much the same. We have a very close relationship. The race engineer for me is the guy who looks after the strategy. He's the guy helping me with setup and how to make the car quicker. And I've got my performance engineer who I probably work more closely with off the racetrack. And he's the guy that I kind of talk to more about how I can improve as a driver. So I'm looking at the data with him. 1.5 terabytes of data gets transferred uh, from the racetrack to the car and from the car all the way back to here in the MTC. Is it similar with eSports? Yeah, not quite so much data for us, but uh, we're transmitting data at 10 hertz all the way through the 45 minute race. Works out about 27,000 events per car and then we've got 20 cars on the track. So you end up with about half a million data points that Splunk is ingesting and then displaying for us on the dashboards. Being able to have that whole holistic view of the entire race, we're not just learning from the racing that we've done, but we can look at all the other teams. It still sounds like a lot of data. How does Splunk help dilute that into the important things and the non-important things? We've built the dashboards that will give us the specific information that we need. Looking at the race trace, for example, you've got the view of exactly the whole race as it's yep. being played out in front of you. You can focus right in as you come towards the pit stops. And so you can, you know, in an example like in the race we did at Austria, you'll figure out exactly when the right moment is to pit to go from a wet onto dry tires. Yep. So how much time has Splunk helped you save? In uh, some of the old versions, when we didn't have Splunk, uh, it was like literally taking me hours after the race to go through, grab all the data I needed and manually type stuff in. I was uh, finishing the race at nine o'clock and I'd still be here at midnight tapping away on my keyboards. Now you can pull a direct export. And one of the things that's really useful for actually is you complete a test race, driver can get up out of his rig, come straight to my laptop and right there in front of you is the data to look at and that you can talk through, saving a lot of time. McLaren Shadow Esports guys are doing an amazing job. What's the next goal for them? I think we're just going to keep pushing hard, keep trying to win races, and then hopefully we'll win the championship. Let's see. 
Gaming is on the rise and it's bigger than the music and film industry combined. Just like in Formula One, it takes a team to compete in esports, from the driver all the way through to the engineer. 